don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, this is Tom again, and today we will be taking a look at the Gene Bao robot. Uh, this is their KO version of the MMC Feral Rex. I'm going to try to do these videos all in one week, so we'll see how that works out. But right off the bat, you see it's a very large box. and. Just to give you all an idea about how long it is, right here is the two, right here is the two foot mark. So the box itself is actually a little bit longer than two feet, and it is a foot and 19 and a half inches high. Depth wise, it is coming in at five and a half. I actually had to pull out the tape measure for that one, folks. <laughs> it's been a while since you've seen me do something like that. Uh, here's a piece of artwork on the front. Here is the side of the box. It's just, can't see. Side of the box, got Chinese writing on it, a picture. The back of the box has the uh, product shots and some more artwork. Top of the box has this handle, which is actually kind of handy. You get more writing and that picture again. Bottom of the box, you get upside down writing and things that you probably can't see. So. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open the box up. I have already done so, but for purposes of the review, I'm trying to be thorough. So, <laughs> just a minute, folks. <sighs> What's the matter? Are you weak or something? Nemesis, let's get the hell out of here. Now's not the time. Ah, come on. <clears throat> you weakling. <sighs> I could do that with my eyes closed. Can you get your butt over here and do it. I don't think so. Sweet, merciful Jesus. All right. <laughs> There's more directions in there. I will get them out of the box, but for purposes of the review, as you know, empty box other than the directions that are in the box. Oh, Lord. <laughs> as you can see, everything comes in this, this clamshell. Uh, the thing that fell was the gun, his shoulder gun. They each have individual weapons and the big sword fell. So I'm gonna get everybody out of the prison. I'm gonna line them all up on my display table and we'll go from there. It came packaged in the clamshell in something that looked like this. Uh, that's pretty close. So as you can see, they're, they're already semi-ready to combine. They're not ready yet, but they're semi-ready. So what I think I will do I think I'll go ahead and review each of the individual bots. Uh, I'll probably double up on the two cats and the two herd animals. Uh, and then we'll put them all in combined mode and go from there. Do, 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 do. So I want to begin by showing off the instructions here for dive bomb. These are the instructions for dive bomb. Yeah, okay. At least I, I can ascertain a general idea about what he's supposed to look like. So, <clears throat> let's take us a look here at dive bomb. Let's go ahead and pop that off so that we can get this prepared the way that we need to. Pull the 
feet down so that the claws do what they're supposed to. Uh, let's see. Let's put him in bird mode, I guess, first. Because reasons. Does he have bird mode? Surely he has bird mode. That has got to come off. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, this is not going so well. Uh, <laughs> all right, so here is here is dive bomb as a bird. I guess that's that's kind of what it shows on the on the picture. Um, Yeah, this picture is really no help whatsoever trying to figure out what to do with him. Um, let's see. This is Dive Bomb as a bird. He's standing approximately seven inches tall, shoulder to shoulder, uh, four and a half, we'll say. If we go from here to here, we're looking at nine inches. Depth wise, uh, eh, let's say three and a quarter, or three, three and three quarters. Okay, articulation the head is on a ball joint. You get lots of wiggle waggle. Uh, this, does this move at all? It's difficult because, I mean, you've seen the directions I have to work with. It move the head moves up and down and the beak okay that's it it comes forward to do that I was wondering how it worked all right so that's him that's his bird head all right so that makes more sense I can live with that okay uh, the feet move forward back whatnot all right so what do you say we transform him into robot mode pull the arms down and out pull the arms down and out Pull out your fists here, push his head back in so that he's got a, a head. Um, for some reason, that lives, oh, that's his combiner port, okay. Uh, let's see, the legs, how do we do the legs? Lift that out, open that up, rotate this down, close it back up as best you can, and shouldn't we rotate the foot around? No, it's on ball joint, okay. So, oh, oh, not that far. Bring your foot in. Make sure it doesn't pop off the ball joint. Okay. Do this other one the exact same way. Open that up. Swing this down and around. Unplug the claw. Shut that back. Swing this out and down. Gosh, I hope this is getting on camera. Uh, <laughs> it's a little late now if it's not. So we it forward, uh, rotate at the waist, and let's see, yeah, I guess we should probably do his feet that way. And here is what's his name? Dive bomb, dive bomb. In his robot mode, right here, and he's he's pretty tall fella. Uh, stand, man, stand. Can you? I can't think. I can get him in frame here. Okay, there we go. He's coming. He doesn't want to stand on his own. He's coming in to the tip of his beak at nine and a quarter. Shoulder to shoulder, four to quarter, uh, wingtip to wingtip should not have changed. Yeah, it's still about nine inches. Depth wise, uh, we're looking at about four inches. Okay, so here he is in his robot mode. And he's extremely back heavy due to the wings. I mean, and the fact that the ball jointed feet don't do a whole lot. So, uh, 
shoving them back there for the moment. <clears throat> and try not to shake the camera too horribly much while I try and get some comparisons here. Movie Bumblebee. Uh, where is, where's Prime? Damn it, Nemesis, what'd you do with Prime? I killed him. That's what I do. Damn it, Nemesis. There it is with a legend scale figure. Here it is with uh, Beast Wars RC. Uh, RC. Um, Black Arachnia. And here's animated RC. Just for your sense of scale. That works. Okay. I told you I killed him. I'll find him later. No, you won't. He's in the trash compactor. Get the hell out of here. Do, 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 do. I did kill him, you know. Get out. Do, 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 do. All right. So, uh, let's see. Articulation in this mode. The head, as I said, is on a ball joint. You get full 360 if you want it. Uh, it can look down, I guess. <laughs> He can look up that far. So he can't quite, as MGO would say, squirrel! He can't quite do that, but he can do pretty close. The arms are on a ratcheted hinge. Uh, they can, they could do a full 360 if the wings weren't in the way. Uh, you get outward motion to right there, so he can do that. He has two joints here for the waist. He has an upper, upper torso rotation. Yeah, that works. As you can see, he can do all the way around with that. He also has a waist swivel, which lets you do all that. And this thing right here, the bird tail, is on its own little thing, so it can run around and, I don't know, do whatever. Let's see here. The tail itself can go up like that and down like that. You get this nice detailing on the back of the tail with a little silver, and this is orange flecked. I don't know how well that comes off on camera, but it's orange flecked. Uh, it's all kind of orange flecked now that I look at it. Okay, the legs are on a hinge, a ratcheted thing, so there you get that. That's the Chinese splits. They can go forward and back. Oh, so close. So close to get the full American, but not quite. Okay. You have thigh rotation built in right here at the knee. I can't see it, but I'm sure it's a mushroom peg. It, that's just what you would expect. The ratcheted knee gives you 90 degrees, and the foot, as we said, is on a ball joint, so if you actually wanted him to stand a little taller, you could simply do like that. Of course, it kind of destroys the sculpt, but as long as his knees would allow it, or his feet would allow it, It'd work. See, he stands just fine right now uh, without the uh, stuff, the wings on him. So, yeah. That is, well, let's see here. I guess now we need to get him into limb mode, don't we? Crap, I gotta pull him back into limb mode. He is a, he's got a combiner peg right here, by the way, which we're not going to mess with. He is an arm, so we just bring these back up like this, remembering that I don't have directions. They do not, I mean, they're designed to clip into place, and they do, but they don't. They won't hold. Oh, and these little guns you can rotate around if you need to. Okay, so we're gonna rotate his head around so that it looks, well, actually we're not. We're gonna leave it like that. And we're just gonna pull out the bird head so that it's kind of hiding his head. In fact, we're just gonna open up the jaw here so it goes like that. Okay, now let's get the legs back into their proper orientation. Rotate the arm of the uh, pelvis around. Bring those down and let's see, rotate this in. 
shut that back up and then this rotates around and pin in a port pin in the port right there you will go in brother you just don't know it yet yep get in there damn you I don't know why these things have to act like they're better than me don't they realize that without me nobody would buy them <sighs> maybe I'm thinking too much on it that's gotta be what it is I'm thinking too much I had that problem once they thought they cured me but then nemesis came along nothing's ever been the same since maybe it goes like this oh it does it goes like this man why stupid I'm not stupid I'm just drawn that way wait what <laughs> yeah it goes like that it looks in place so rotate that around that'll go down there like that and it clips in place like that okay now the feet uh, the thighs have a pin and a port on both sides they just pin together they really do uh, but I suppose before we do that we ought to get uh, a hand shouldn't we so since I don't really care for fell saver hmm, do I want to do that you know what? I think I would prefer having Fell Saber. And there's a reason for that. That's because this guy right here, whatever the hell his name is, his combiner port here is so strong it almost ripped out, um, it, it almost destroyed uh, their leader, the lion, whatever his name is. So we take a hand, and the hand is extremely uh, simple. You've got a ball joint right here. I'm sorry, that's that's a mushroom peg. You got a ball joint for the thumb, which gives you limited range. And the hand is just a hollowed out piece that can close. It works, it's just not the best. And we just sandwich. There's a uh, screw hole right there on both sides this just goes in there like that well it's supposed to go in there just like that look folks if you see me struggling with it you're probably going to struggle too so I don't know how was that it was hooked in just like that screw hole right here on fell saber or whatever his name was I keep wanting to call him tigress <laughs> that screw hole right there is not big enough to handle this what do you think about that folks that's an issue that is an issue and it oh oh are we are we about to yeah I think we are okay so maybe we can get this thing going here I bet you we've got a <sighs> nothing is ever easy folks nothing is ever ever easy every time you think you got something just right <sighs> I can already tell I'll be doing a little editing on this Yep, because that just does not want to collapse in together. It's not the foot that's causing the issue at this point. Although the foot is problematic. There we go. Yep. Okay, so there. Now we got that. Uh, and he has his arm hand. Let's see which way. There it goes like that. Okay. So. Stay together, brother. So there is, what's his name, in his arm mode. And from this point, you know, the wings go on the back of Pretty King. So from this point, we're going to call him good. 
of arm mode length real quick. I'll do that just from here to there. Uh, it looks like to be about from the top of the head, almost seven inches. Okay. That's apparently gonna be as deep as he bends. Thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you. Thank you.